So yes, sir, we back at it again. Uh, people are, I just want to summarize basically what's going on today. And like I said, some keynotes, like I said, that I found very interesting. And I think that'll give, you know, give you some clarity and, uh, education of what's going on. But before we go into that, like I've been alluding to in the last video, speaking on our crypto space and our time to move to crypto as they are about to make this thing shake, right? Um, this video I found super informative guys. We all know what's going on with the silver gate, uh, crisis, uh, 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 all the banks basically in our sector that are going down, SVB, uh, Credit Suisse, Signature Bank. Here's the tie to it of how this started. See, nobody actually knows specifically how we started. We just, it, it really hit us all like a bombshell, all this coming down. But here's the tie to this. Now, catch catch this video, tap in. I'm going to make some pause, but like I said, I got some stuff at the end here for us to pull it all together. All right, one of the two main banks for the crypto industry is shutting down operations and oh, liquidating mind you, this is about three Silvergate days ago. Capital making the announcement on Wednesday. What does it mean? David Chiverini, Wedbush Securities Managing Director in Equity Research, joins us now. Let's start, David, with why this is happening with Silvergate. What can you tell us? Or Tuesday. Yeah, so it was a classic run on the bank. Um, following the FTX bankruptcy, Silvergate was involved. I went to the tap in. Everybody remember now, that FTX scandal that we just somehow brushed up under the rug, that didn't just go, that's just not gone. That money's gone. That money's gone. And big money, that's big money that was involved in that. So that's hedge fund money gone. That's a uh, big money investor, big clientele, uh, uh, sports arena money that's gone. But tap back in on this now. Just check this out. In, in, in the sense that FTX was a client of Silvergate. So Silvergate was facilitating some movement of funds uh, between FTX and other entities and other exchanges and other crypto hedge funds. And since they Silvergate was mentioned um, as part of that, a lot of um, investors and short sellers um, started to, you know, make a lot of noise about Silvergate being involved. And it led to some questions around. Now, basically what he just alluded to is the simple fact that there, the banking crisis for these banks didn't actually like uh, against how we thought start just because of uh, uh deductions or the uh the bank run the bank run started because these banks signature bank silicon valley bank and um let's see here what was it silvergate all this is that's crazy um we're all heavy banks in crypto as far as loaning and money to those that were uh crypto uh, uh utilize the ftx they that was the means of it, right so now check this against obviously there are there's an enemy of crypto i mean the usd is not crypto's best friend you know those are th this thing isolates you know they they cut each other out there can only be one right but let's just tap in there was a bank run started off of just hype and talk alone this re all right let me just tap in y'all and i got some stuff to tap in at the end here the viability of the bank. It also uh, raised some questions with senators. Elizabeth Massive Warren radical. sent a letter to the bank. So a lot of depositors were, you know, scared and freaked out about it and started to pull their money from Silvergate. And that ultimately Beer. is what led to them uh, deciding what was in the best interest of shareholders is winding down the bank and ultimately, you know, uh, trying to get the residual I value I could really back get down to shareholders in a return of capital. Whole FTX so thing we'll might have, have to been see how, how that plays about out. It. it could be a long time. They did um, catch we're expecting them one to two in years for them right? to settle their affairs, okay. but that's essentially what has brought Silvergate down. David Chila Bear was quoted in a piece for Bloomberg saying- The guy's still, Sam Bankman still not arrested? Hmm, okay. Plant? And as Silvergate's go. troubles are as much, if not more, about traditional banking risks, the lack of diversification, as it is about exposure to crypto. It sounds like you might agree with that. Yeah, absolutely. So what's ironic about the situation is that Silvergate did not lose any money related to listen, Bitcoin listen. collateralized loans. Um, so zero losses related to that. The issue is that all of the crypto... He basically said there was no losses due to crypto. The banks didn't go down because of crypto. Deposits Tap that they brought in, they bought mortgage-backed securities that had a duration of 
you know, three plus years. And um, as we all know, interest rates have gone up significantly over the past year. And that led to unrealized losses on that portfolio. Now, normally when you have a stable deposit base, all of those losses end up coming back into capital over time as those securities pay off. But they were, their hand was forced, right? Because all of these deposits um, ended up leaving the bank. And in order to fund those deposit outflows, they had to sell those securities and realize losses. And that ended up depleting uh, their capital base. Um, so it really was interest rate risk that brought them down um, mm. at the end of the day, as opposed to any crypto-related losses. Mm. So as we have to ask with every one of these stories, what do you think the collateral damage is here? Yeah, it's- And just so in layman's terms again, guys, the man just said it wasn't about the crypto. There was no crypto losses that came. It was the fear that was created by the, sh the bank's uh, uh, holders, right? Or not by them or in them, right? The people that were investing in it, the people that held their money there that encouraged them to pull their money out in fear of crypto, which started the bank run that we're seeing here. It's a good question. Now, we're likely to see uh, stable coins start being used um, more. XRP. We saw some hello, deposits hello. have moved over to Signature Bank, uh, the other crypto-related bank. We could probably see a number of these deposits kind of move offshore. Um, but stable coins... Look at what he just said, guys. Now, again, mind you, this is this is previously, right? We're in the, we're in the future. This is in the past. The man... Look at the movement of how the cryptos and what banks got smite. So Silvergate moved their money to sign. I mean, moved their crypto assets to Signature, right? Signature Bank, uh, the other crypto-related bank. We could probably see a number of these deposits kind of move offshore. Um, but stablecoins and uh, utilizing stablecoins to move money between the crypto exchanges is likely to be. Um, mm -hmm. the number one thing that kind of gained share here. Now, why Silvergate and Signature heard have, stable um, point now. He's telling garnered you such a strong following is that they don't charge fees to move money um, across their networks. Whereas when using stable coins, you have to pay gas fees. So crypto hedge funds, you know, they're moving billions and billions of dollars. For instance, the SEN over the past year and a half has moved close to a trillion dollars. Um, so even saving basis points on that level um, turns into a big dollar amount. David, as an analyst, when you come in to try to analyze a bank like this, you also mentioned Signature, that's off just about 12% on the fall and here from the news from Silvergate. The exposure though to crypto, obviously would get a lot of people's attention. How do you evaluate right, we got that this, and kind of separate these events all of have that already from played some of the other now. fundamental things that are going on within the business? Not Silvergate aside, but maybe a bank like, like Signature. You know, what's important is about how they invest the funds, the deposits that come in. And Signature, they've been keeping a very high cash balance relative to the level of crypto deposits. So, for instance, when they peaked out at around 30 billion of crypto related deposits, Steer. their cash and Damn. cash equivalents Steer. and short term oh. investments was likewise at that 30 billion level. Um, so they were much more conservative in the way in which they invested the deposits that came in uh, from the crypto funds. So that's one of the key things to look at when was, you're dealing in a like business that Friday of last week or something like that, Saturday volatile. or something. And this was an so expensive lesson seen this play out now. I think bank signature fall. from the get-go um, was on what's keeping going a very short-term, short-duration book um, for what they were investing those deposits. And now they're being even more conservative because at the peak, they were up at about 30% of their deposits were crypto-related deposits. Based on their disclosures today, it's down to 19%, and they further have said that they plan on getting that below 15%. So hmm. Signature is very different. Check out the force now, guys. It's about the crypto. It, it's not about the banks. Y'all don't have to worry about Wells Fargo, even though I can't stand them, and I, feel, I already feel like they are toaster strudels. This is about crypto. This spark this. We're getting our black swan event from for AMC short squeezes based off of a whole nother debacle. This is a whole nother fight this this drizzled off into the fight that we stand. Different now Silvergate and that they have a very diversified business model as opposed to being a hundred percent invested um, in crypto the way Silvergate was.
And David, before we go, uh, crypto was a popular topic today, on, or the last two days prior on Capitol Hill when Jerome Powell was answering questions both the Senate and the Congress. In particular, uh, M Congressman Stephen Lynch was concerned that the creation XRP. of a digital dollar could zero out some digital currencies. Do you have any takeaways from those two hello? days on Capitol Hill? Guys, guys, hello. Do you have any hello? takeaways from zero out some digital currency? Uh, so now, guys. If you don't understand that crypto is coming, one, the U.S. dollar is nothing now. It's done. This, not only is crypto the only option, guys, it's how they slowly start laying this out. Jerome Powell talking about the digital dollar, right? Okay, and how that'll zero out all these negative balances. Come on now, ride with uh, it, ride with it, ride with it. Stephen Lynch was concerned that the creation of a digital dollar could zero out some digital currencies. Do you have any takeaways from those two days? Put my on XRP Capitol up there and stop playing around. And obviously, this is different now as we up. Bitcoin's up to uh, 25,000, 24,000 after the run that occurred this week, after another bank collapse. All this is actually false. Yeah, so everything you see coming, coming online that shouldn't really impact Bitcoin and Ethereum. What it could impact for sure would be stable coins. Um, so Tether, USDC, we probably see a CBDC um, take CBDC. share from, from those stable coins. But when looking at uh, Bitcoin and, and Ethereum, you know, Bitcoin, it is, you know, the number of Bitcoins outstanding, we all know, is capped at 21 million. Um, so you can't be sort of diluted over time. Whereas a CB CBD. Hello, guys, guys, major key alert, major key alert. This is why the, the new move, the new market is, is going to be the crypto market. The stock market is a dying thing. This is why. All the stuff that we've been going through with this short squeeze with just creating shares that can't be um, right so there. So you can't be sort of diluted over time. Whereas a CB, CBDC, you know, the government and the Fed can ish, continuously issue more and more dollars. And we've seen how the Fed has increased its balance sheet up towards, you know, $9 trillion. Um, so Bitcoin being fixed is very different than competing with a CBDC. And then you've got the smart tr contracts with Ethereum, very different blockchain technology um, in these cases versus competing with the CBDC. So and I don't the view Central Bank and CBDC digital currency. Really I'm going to stop it right here, guys, so I get these notes. But I just had to pull that through so that y'all can see the top, especially as retail. Y'all, we cannot be left behind. This right here, y'all, we need to start digging that foot in. Move over. Bitcoin, XRP, Cordana, move over. Get ready. Like I said, we aren't going to sit up here and keep trying to battle people oh, uh, through all this nonsense of creating shares and all this uh, 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 debacle. But let me tap in right quick, get these notes out. All right. So, um, uh, double chapping in. Uh, uh, Intera dropped uh, 48 million, I believe it was, uh, shares. Uh, Wednesday, which explains our the price drop. Uh, obviously, today being Thursday, we recovered. Um, not massive. We were, I think eight finished up four percent. I don't know. Excuse me. AMC finished up four percent. Ape, I think, might have stayed stagnant. But obviously, because now the flow has all changed a little bit there on on that direction. And like I tell everybody, keep your head on the swivel this this month, it, up all the way through January twenty seventh. Anything and everything can happen. I'm going, I'm in and out of these places. In and out, in and out, in and out. I learned over two years trying to hold through all this. I was, I was steady. No, never sell. Don't sell anything until I got literally uh, a pimp slap three or four times through different debacles, ape shares and, and moving. The same thing happened over with, with COS and we'll never sell. Hold on. Uh, no, sir. We're going to learn that. Uh, like I said, the crazy part about this though, that has me thinking is okay. And Terra literally just proved that they bought those shares to persuade and change the vote to get a yes vote, which obviously we knew they was going to have to get a yes vote. I'm not even shocked. There was no way it was going to check made out like that. But they're in a court case right now about how they're utilizing their money in big companies to change and alter the votes to get money. I mean, is that not proof right there of what they're doing? Like now, catch me wrong. If I'm in, if I'm going to court for murder. Right. And then I just shoot somebody right before I go. Is that, I mean, is this not the same thing? Double check, uh, double tap back in here. Like I said, the question is, why would they do that? Why would you so brazenly just drop those shares 
clearly knowing what's coming on the hindsight. Now, obviously, there's multiple options. One, there's something that we don't know about in that background where these guys are like, oh, hell, we need to get out of here, right? Two, uh, 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 we can clearly just state that they've completed what they their mission was, which is literally to buy those shares which they got at 50 cents and sold at $1. fifty. So what, they made 3X on 48 million shares and then got out uh, also changing the vote? Right. So that's that's the second option. But then a third option is what if they know this game? What if things are getting tight? You know, what I mean, what if I, I know I, and like these are all options. We don't know which one it could be. But what if money's getting tight? Things are getting a little stressful. Right. Right. What if what if that drop had to occur? Because this might have been that last window to get that out of there. You see what I'm saying? Ride with me on this because somebody needed them. I did the, the 40. Five million volume we had that day was all them selling. We didn't buy it all up. Somebody needed that, or somebody need to hold that. Somebody needed that, or somebody need to hold that for them, because they couldn't hold that anymore. All right, but hey, just keep your head. This is what this is what we're doing. I mean, this is how we have to stay as retail. This ain't no oh, we're just running in ah uh, ah uh, hoping. No, we're going by the fact, but also we're gonna draw some conclusions. We're gonna think. We're gonna critical think over here. All right. Uh, um, a note again for anybody that's wondering the hearing is on April 27th that's a major day like I said we're we are just floating in in in, in an abyss right now we don't know what's going on which way we're going I mean there's so much stuff that's breaking down and going left and right and awry that anything is liable to happen all right uh RSI is still vastly oversold on AMC and ape right um I still expect there to be sideways trading, if not a little bit of red, but we played out perfectly as as price predictions go. Um, 130 uh, on 8, 125, 130. I thought about 125 to 130 um, would be a point of where I want to see if it hit, if it went below that. That's where you want to keep your eyes, but it hit and it bounced. So we're off of a bounce. Obviously, we got to go through to see how Friday is going to go out to see what it what it is that confirms that we're going to ride above that wave a little bit. And uh, obviously, same price point. I put about three eighty to four dollars on AMC, and we hit that mark and we bounced up. So that's all that I could ask for as far as staying. Hey, it, my stock not going up or down, just ho holding where it's at. That's the best you know uh, opportunity we could have. SI is still above twenty four percent. Um, it was 25%. It's only dropped like uh, like a half a percent or so, which, I mean, obviously 24% is still gnarly. Um, 9 million plus uh, FTDs still that need to be, uh, that have now been accumulated. FTDs are up to 9 million, right? Uh, and that's, again, like I said, the current day. I'll tap back in again just to go back in that point again, guys. Signature Bank, SVD, Silvergate, all crypto-based banks. Government, obviously, like we, he just stated, CBDC still is, not, there's cryptos, guys. There's shit coins. There's stable coins. These, CBDC is not going to be able to compete with XRP. That's the utilization, right? You're going to need to utilize a, a, a Ripple Networks to send these things, right? CBDC, Central Bank and Digital Currency, is literally them just making a massive digital currency, but those can still be printed and created as they need be. That doesn't necessarily give you security of what a, a, a crypto is, right? Which again, we're seeing this fight go down. FTX, I'm not gonna go too far, and I'm you know, I, hey, my channel's growing. I'm just trying to keep going on, guys. But y'all read them soon lines. FTX got caught. Uh, uh, Sam Bankman Free got caught. Uh, uh, um, with his hand in the cookie jar, obviously. There's no proof. All this money just magically disappeared, and he doesn't know how, who had the keys or access, obviously. Oh, this is crazy, right? But the tap-in is that he was donating to both parties. Magically, all this money goes, right, which is a jab to the crypto markets, right? This creates fear. That was a fear creation tool. The guy's still not in jail. You go steal a, 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 a jar of milk from, the, uh, from a grocery store and see how they handle you. This man has stole billions. Nah, nah, nah. No, nah, no, nah, government don't play like that. Government don't play about you taking their money. So if this had occurred, it wouldn't even be going this long. So that's just making me tap in on possibly a plant. We don't know. Wait, hey, we'll slide up off of that. But uh, none the none the uh, uh less, like I said, crypto is a direct competition. The government fed control and, and the U.S. dollar, right? Uh, uh, it, the craziest part about it though is through this debacle of them again. 
there was something or somebody that started an uproar about the 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 dangers of uh silvergate being 100 percent crypto and in xyz these crypto banks and of course that starts a bank run which is why the banks collapsed because everybody was pulling their money out nothing about the crypto or them being a crypto holder them being crypto holders they were up hmm i just want y'all to tap in so that is the debacle of the creation of one our black swan event that leaks over here that debacle that's going on with this sphere in the market is creating a very dry area it's dry it's dry it's dry it's dry for us and it's dry for them just like i said some there's some reason why they uh drop the shares just think why would you drop them the day after if you knew you were doing some you would wait a month maybe a, a, a week right a day after that's like you're like all right all right hey we are uh, we got that's too quick you're you're it that, i mean that's what somebody guilty of something does or somebody that's down does. I'm just telling you. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Credit Suisse, like I said, everybody keep your eyes still on Credit Suisse. Credit Suisse has been bailed out by the Swiss bank, uh, causing a 30% run. Uh, uh, but like I said, guys, this is still a short-term thing. Them being boosted up by another bank doesn't solve the problem. It just creates a little bit of stability. But they're still in the same situation. That fear is still there. That fear is still completely there. And that's what the whole dilemma is. Bump what's going on with the banks. It's the fear that's running all this. That's what's making the black swan event. The fear in the market. The fear in the economy. The fear of every single day living. That's what's making this market right now. Um, oh, snap. Let's see. Double tap in. And then, like we said, I don't care who backed it. Their number one shareholder, Saudi, Saudi money, Saudi Arabia, pulled all their money out, pulled out, they're done. I don't care who came and picked it up. Why would they all leave unless there's something that going on that we are not fully exposed yet? But I'm just saying, here we are connecting dots. We're connecting dots on something. I'm just saying, y'all go back and watch this video. This is on Yahoo Finance. This is the breakdown of why the banking, this banking debacle even started. See, it wasn't just about, it wasn't just about uh, uh, assets. Now, there are some of these banks, obviously, that we know have bad uh, bets in the market, right? Some of these hedge funds. But the start of the debacle is at crypto banks. It's like they know that there's about to be a switch or something coming. Why would you, why would this be happening with just, Crypto banks, crypto banks, banks that are uh, 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 20%, 30%, 40% plus crypto assets or deal with crypto people. Sending money out to uh, 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 Moo Moo or Uphold or things like that. Crypto, Bitcoin, who, just think about that for a minute. And that's just all I want to tie in, guys. Hey, hang in there. Guys, we're, we're in for a ride. This saga is not done. Uh, and, and, and again, retail, don't feel defeated or anything like that. Hey, we've been this for two years. I look at this as tuition. I went to college. This was way more worth it at four years and uh, the amount of money I spent going to college. You know what I mean? Guys, we're on the brink of something. This is the time to be smart. If you're unweary, pull your cash and sit on the sideline and sit right there ready we're on this every single day you need to be in tapped in looking every single day this is something crazy about to go on we're in a window guys there's a window of this thing popping we're gonna get some money out of this i know for a fact we're gonna get some money keep your eyes on eight guys the danger is actually lying with eight now again amc up until that up until that uh, uh, uh jury they can't dilute that's what the whole creation of this ape debacle was in the first place right but keep your eyes on these things, guys. If you have to flip, flop, bounce around, make your money. Float your boat. This is how retail gets up and moves. We got the information. We've been here two years. We're not going to play this like uh, uh, morons and, or noobs. We got this under control now. Keep your eyes peeled. It's not, it's never as it seems with the market. And that's just how I'm going to end it. Hey, appreciate y'all boys. And like I said, tap in for the next video. Hey, I appreciate all the support. If you like the content, please give me a like, subscribe. Hey. Yeah, this means the world to me, y'all. I, I swear. Thank y'all so much.